good afternoon. Hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I have something very special planned today. Um, my father-in-law's birthday is on Tuesday, but he has to work out of town next week. So I thought I would be nice and make his um, annual birthday treat a little bit early so that we could celebrate this weekend. Um, so he is a really big fan of lemon pie. And um, his mom used to make him um, like icebox lemon pie. And that was Lola. Um, <laughs> his mom used to make him icebox lemon pie all the time. Um, for his birthday and she is no longer able to do so so Since that happened I've sort of stepped in and made him this lemon pie that he's had every year for the last 30 40 years, I don't don't quite know um, Hang on okay. Now I'm not making that icebox lemon pie um I'm going to be making lemon meringue pie, um, which in my opinion is better, but that's just me. I don't, uh, I don't know what my cat is doing for starters, but, um, yeah, I'm just like losing track of everything today. Okay, so <laughs> making lemon meringue pie, it's, I think that it has better flavor than the icebox pie, and who doesn't love meringue? So, um, I figured that that would be the good way to go, and I've made this pie before, and it is always a big hit. It's by far, like, the best lemon pie that I've ever had, um, and it's definitely, like, it has really good, like, lemon flavor, and like I said, it has meringue, and the crust is just phenomenal. Um, my friend Olivia actually shared this recipe with me after she made it for a contest at, um, when we were in, well, <laughs> when I was in college and she was my instructor, um, she made it and it was so good and I just had to have the recipe. So she gave it to me and I've made this for my, my papa, my grandpa, um, my dad, I've made it for Jake's dad several times and they all love it. It's such a big hit. So we're going to be making that today. Um, and to get started, we're going to be making the crust. Now, up until this last year, I haven't had a food processor. So I, you know, mixed <laughs> it by hand, which took forever and isn't fun to do. But today, I'm going to be using the food processor to combine our butter and flour and salt. Um, so hopefully that'll make it come together a little bit better and a little bit quicker so that I can show you guys the whole process of making this pie. I just wanted you all to know that you should feel hashtag blessed that I'm sharing this recipe with you because I've kept it close. I've coveted this recipe ever since Olivia gave it to me like three years ago. And um, I feel like, you know, I like to share things with the world. And so here it is, my lemon meringue pie. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, so First things first, we need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, and then to this, we're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt, and we're going to add one cup of cold butter. So this is two sticks of butter that I have cubed up right here. Um, and after I cubed it, I stuck it back in the fridge for a few minutes because when you manipulate butter, it gets very soft very quickly, especially with the warmth of the hands. And I already preheated my oven too, so it's a little bit warm in here. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that it was super cold. And that is crucial when you're making pie crust. Cold butter it helps everything just like come together and it makes it so like flaky and buttery and just adds for a better texture. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're gonna add this and we're not really gonna touch it. We don't want to melt the butter. So now we're just going to pop our lid on and pulse it all together. Okay, so the butter and flour ooh, has come together. So we're just gonna, it looks like, um, kind of like, um, Okay, 
I'll just, ooh. I'll just take that. It looks kind of like cornmeal or like, um, I don't know, just something. So we don't really want to manipulate this with our hands. Um, so I have a fork and I have a um, quarter cup which this isn't liquid measuring, so I might need more of like ice water that we're just gonna mix in until our dough comes together. And we're just gonna like toss it with the fork until a dough forms. Okay, so this is our dough. <laughs> we are going to divide it into two balls because this is actually a double recipe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to divide it up and I'm gonna put one half in the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes um, until it's like cold and it's had time to rest. Um, and then I'm going to put the other half in the freezer so that I can use it later on um, and it'll stay good in the freezer for a few months. So um, I'm going to do that and then when we get back, I will show you how to roll it out and um, bake it. And we're back. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is a round that has been chilling. I let it chill for about a half hour um, just because it got kind of warm and it is still warm in here. So I just want to make sure that I'm working with it when it's really, really cold. Um, so I let it chill for a half hour. Um, before I did that, I separated the dough into two um, balls and then I um, flattened the balls into rounds. So now I'm going to roll this out and I floured my surface, floured my rolling pin, and I even floured the top of the pie crust because I don't want it to stick, don't want it to tear. We're going to roll this into hopefully a um, 12 inch um, in diameter pie crust. <laughs> I'm going to start from the middle, work our way out, just going around. Probably got it a little bit bigger than it needed to be, but I would rather have that and know that I can fill my entire pie crust and not have to, you know, fill pieces in, um, than have it be just short and <laughs> not know what to do with it. So this is my pie dish. It's about 10 inches in circumference. So we're just going to transfer our dough. Very gingerly into okay. okay, and we're just gonna fit it in around the edges. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of let this hang and we're gonna move it to the fridge and let it chill down for another 20 to 30 minutes. And then we're gonna bake it. It's gonna bake in a 400 degree oven for 12 to 15 minutes until it's golden and delicious. Before we bake it, we're gonna prick the bottoms and the sides to keep it from like bubbling up. <laughs> All right, so um, after this, we're going to make the filling, so be right back. Whoa. I'm so sorry, I know this is such a weird angle, but I want you guys to see how to make the like curd filling for the lemon meringue pie that we're doing. Um, so we're over here by my stove and um, I just realized in this light I look so tired but I'm just gonna attribute it to it being sick and it me, attribute it to me being sick and um, call it a day. <laughs> um, okay, so I have a medium saucepan here, and hang on, I forgot the water. Okay, so I have a medium saucepan here, 
And to this, um, we're going to put in one third cup of cake flour. I already measured this out and it is going in there. Okay, we're also going to need a third of a cup of, oh, I hate this stuff. Hmm. Cornstarch. I hate it. it, it has such a weird texture. Like it's, it's like soft, but it's also kind of like plasticky. I don't really know how to explain the texture of cornstarch, but whoops, I'm not a fan. Okay. <laughs> right. We also need a pinch of salt, salt, and one and a half cups of granulated sugar. My sugar is like super... Super clumpy. So, now Lola's gonna be playing with that. Okay, so one and a half cups. Lola. So I'm just gonna loosely combine this. It's a little chunky because of my sugar, but it is what it is. Okay, so now to this, we're gonna add two cups of water. It doesn't matter if the water is cold, if it's warm. We're gonna turn the heat on and just keep stirring this until it all dissolves and combines and comes up to a boil. Should take, I don't know. I don't know. 10 minutes maybe. I don't know. Figure it out. We need to stir this constantly because we don't want it to burn. It has that sugar in it, which makes it susceptible to burning. And um, it's also going to get like really thick, like really, really thick. And uh, you just don't want anything to stick to the bottom. So we're whisking until it comes to a boil. It's starting to thicken up. I can feel it. And work a little bit longer. Keep my skin. It looks like glue, but I promise you, this is the consistency that we're looking for. Lola! Keep going, okay? See how bubbles are coming up? This is boiling, okay? So we're cooking it for just a few more minutes. Turn our heat down, okay? Remove this. And we have our five egg yolks from the, uh, yeah, we have five egg yolks here. So we're just gonna temper these, which basically means we're getting them, our egg yolks, to warm up to the temperature that's in this pot. Because if we just added these egg yolks into there, they would scramble. It would be really gross. So we're just getting these to come up to the warmer temperature. And then we're just gonna add them directly in all at once, now that they're warm. Okay. So we're going to stir this all together. You see that? It's a nice pale yellow. And that's thanks to the egg yolk. So we're just gonna add this back to our heat. We're just going to keep stirring constantly. We're setting a timer for three minutes because we want to cook these for an additional three minutes. All right. So we've removed our um, curd mixture. It's not really curd. Our, I don't know, our filling mixture um, off of the heat. Um, and to them, I keep saying, um, uh, okay, so we're going to add a quarter cup of lemon juice. I got this by squeezing, I actually got half of a cup, 
by squeezing two like big lemons. Um, so I saved the other quarter of a cup in my um, refrigerator to use at some other point, but I have a quarter cup of lemon juice that we're going to add in. And then I also have the zest of those two lemons. And this is really where the lemon flavor comes from, is from the zest. So I have quite a bit here. Um, so these are gonna be super zesty. So we're just gonna add this all in and just continue to whisk. And it smells lemony, it smells good. All right, so that has incorporated. And now we have three tablespoons of butter that we're just gonna, that I've um, cubed up and let sit out for a few minutes. Um, but we're just gonna add one tablespoon at a time until it's fully melted. And this just helps, you know, with like texture and it's just, it's gonna make it like rich and just really delicate on the palate. Butter makes everything better. Second tablespoon, and one of those tablespoon number three. So the more we work it, you know, we're helping it cool down. You know, so we're doing this and it's, it's cooling down, which is good, it's what we want. I mean, granted, it's still like piping hot, but we want it to be relatively, you know, not, I don't know, not cool, but like, you know, room temperature i guess lukewarm um when we put it in the pie crust because we're gonna let it like set and just continue to cool and um because we're gonna be making a meringue and so i saved the five egg whites uh, i have my hair's falling out it's ticking me off um So I saved the five egg whites from the yolks that I used, um, and they're in here. So we're going to mix these up and make a meringue with them. But I don't want to put a meringue on top of a filling that is like piping hot. So I'm just going to let this settle down for a little bit. So this is our pie crust. It looks really good. It smells super buttery. I trimmed around the edges from the excess crust that was hanging off, and I tried it, and it's, you know, it's good if I do say so myself so just gonna and we're just gonna pour pour into our pie crust just gonna smooth it out and we are okay so this is the lemon part of our lemon pie I'm gonna continue to let both of these cool down until they're at a more manageable temperature um, before I whisk up my meringue and put it on top and then bake it in the oven for a little bit, but we'll get there. Okay, it is meringue time. I've changed, in case you couldn't tell, it got super freaking hot in here. I even had to turn my air conditioning on. Um, and I also had a little minor freak out because I was hearing some like hissing from my basement, not like, like a snake, but like, and I wasn't quite sure what it was, so I went to investigate, and I see water just like pooling on my floor down there. Like, great, my water line is leaking again. Like, so I call my dad, doesn't answer. Call him again, doesn't answer. Call him a third time, doesn't answer. Call my brother, where's dad? I'm at work, I don't know. Call my, uh, my stepmom, where's dad? Oh, he's on call. Send me his work number because I'm going to bother him until I get a hold of the person that I need to talk to. So I call his work cell, picks up after the second ring. Oh, this is Dave. I'm like, Dad, it's your daughter, Sheena. I need you. Come over. <laughs> but thankfully, it's not my water line. It's just a little sub line that goes to something we don't even use. So I'm not even sure how it busted. But this house is old. It has copper pipes. So... He's fixing the problem and I'm fixing meringue. So let's 
get this going, shall we? <laughs> okay, so I have my five egg whites in here and they've been at room temperature for a while. It just makes them easier to whip up. Um, and to this we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. Cream of tartar. And we're also gonna add a pinch of salt, so just doo -doo -doo. All right, we're gonna start off slow. I brought out my big glass bowl because this is actually gonna make quite a bit of meringue, so we're super excited about it. Pick up the taste a little bit. The cream of tartar helps the egg whites um, stabilize. It doesn't taste like anything, and um, it's really great when you're making meringues. Um, because if you want, you want stiff peaks, you want really hard peaks, and it's going to be super marshmallowy. We're adding a crap ton of sugar to this. There's going to be one and one quarter cups of sugar that we're adding to this meringue, so it's going to be really sweet and delicate. So the cream of tartar is just ensuring that it's not going to fall or weep. Hopefully. <laughs> The thing about meringues is that you want to whip them really high and really fast. Um, otherwise, the egg whites will fall and destabilize. So. We're looking for soft peaks here, so we're looking for it to start to turn white, but not quite, you know, meringue consistency yet. Right now, it's just yellow and frothy. <laughs> I'm using the whisk attachment. It is the best attachment to use when mixing a meringue. It's really loud. We're going to very, very, very slowly, very gradually add our sugar into our mix. You don't want to add it too quickly because the sugar won't have a chance to incorporate really well. Um, so we're just making sure that we're adding maybe like a, a tablespoon at a time, um, which for this quantity of sugar is going to take a while, but we don't want to add it too quickly otherwise. Um, like when we bake it, um, it'll, it'll weep, which means it has extra sugar that hasn't been incorporated. When you cook it, it melts and it, it makes the pie really soggy, and we, we don't want that. We don't want that extra moisture. We just want a nice, fluffy meringue. You also want to make sure that your sugar doesn't have any lumps in it, because those will not incorporate. And the last thing you want to do when you bite into the pie is take a big bite out of a crunchy piece of sugar if it doesn't melt all the way. <laughs> well, if that's not a stiff peak, I don't know what is. <laughs> All right, I'm going to carefully, ever so carefully. See, look at that. Look at that meringue. Oh, so good. All right, so I'm just gonna get it off there. It's almost like marshmallow. Like that's what this consistency reminds me of, is marshmallow. It is, oh, this is, this is a beautiful, so excited this is probably the best meringue that I've ever whipped up oh my gosh you guys so glad you get to witness this oh yes hell yeah so this is cooled really nicely um it's still a little warm but overall it's a general like good general like working um decorating oh hold on hold on all right so we have our meringue we have our pie I want to do this so you can see it, so I'll probably move this out of the way. But we're just gonna take big dollops, pop it on there. Oh my gosh! Oh, this meringue is so beautiful. <laughs> like, 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 I'm so excited. Like, I'm a little bit upset that I'm not. You know what? I'll probably cheat a little bit and have a piece of this pie tomorrow. It'll be worth it. It's only gonna be like 30 carbs, but it's okay. It'll be worth it. This pie is so good. We're just, all right. I'm gonna spread it around. And you wanna make sure that when you're doing this, you're sealing the pie onto the crust. 
because you don't want it, it just ensures that the pie or the meringue won't shrink back um, and create a gap between the crust edge and the um, filling in the middle. So what, that's what we're doing now. We're just making sure that there are any gaps that we're up to the crust. I still wanna leave a little bit of the crust exposed just because I think it looks nice. What? Oh my gosh. This is just, it's so beautiful. Okay, so now with the rest of this, we get to decorate. And we can do it however we want. It's really fun to make it kind of spiky. Um, it has a little bit of texture and, and like the tips of it get kind of burnt. Well, not burnt, but just like browned really nicely. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this meringue. Like it is so big and glorious. You know, it probably would have gotten a little bit bigger if I let it go a little bit longer, but I didn't want to over whip it. So, which can happen. You can over mix and the mixture will fall and we don't want that so we can just do a little swirl if we want we can All right. look at that beautiful piece of artwork oh my god okay so this is going to go in a 325 degree oven we're going to bake it for 20 to 25 minutes until this meringue is beautiful and golden brown and then we're going to let it cool completely completely at room temperature until it is cold to the touch and then we'll move it into the refrigerator and we're gonna refrigerate it overnight you guys I am so 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 excited about this okay um thank you so much for watching this whole thing um I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did and I hope you have a wonderful wonderful evening until next time thank you so much